Hi, I'm Matt from Etrograph.org, and uh, I just got this uh, new VEX kit in the mail. So we're going to take a look through what we got and set it up. And uh, just a warning, if you're going to open this with scissors, be very careful. So it comes in a nice handy box. Kind of like this. Okay, so after doing a little bit of organizing, I'm going to show you how I like to set up the box. Um, this is something you'll be tempted to throw away, but don't. It's basically a catalog of all the parts. The neat thing about it is everything is to, try not to be distracted by my sweet Uggs, um, everything is to scale. So if you hold a piece up next to this, it will be the exact same size, and you will be able to know what the serial number is for the part in case the construction in the instructions you'll find parts that look similar but are different sizes and in order to keep those accurate you're going to want to use the number identification numbers or serial numbers or whatever you want to call it and check your parts against this but for the most part these are designed so that you don't need any tools at all except a tiny screwdriver for a piece i will show you in a second all right, you'll notice two guides one is a guide to using your controller and your brain, the control system. Now, these robots you can use a, a remote control for, or you can write programs for the brain that causes them to move on their own. We call that autonomous. And as you see, that's what you need the screwdriver for, to put the battery in the controller. Um, but you can, the brain battery, you can just slide right on in. It gives you instructions how to operate the brain. So I recommend hanging on to this. And then the other booklet is instructions on how to build certain robot templates. Again, I recommend hanging on to this because the Clawbot is kind of the basic VEX robot. And it's also got instructions for what's called just the plain drivetrain, which you build before you build the Clawbot. And then instructions on how to build an autonomous robot that comes with its, and the brain comes with its own driving program. If you build this robot, you can have it move around your house without having to program it yourself. Coming into the actual parts, this is how I organize the plastic cover. So it fits right into your box. You can pull it out. Oop, I'll fix that later. All right, so what I like to do is the smaller parts I put up here. Um, so they're the bits, they come in their own plastic bags. They're just a little smaller. Um, and I like to organize them on the top part. Also, I keep the motors right here and all of the sensors that come in the kit right here. So these are organized basically just by what bag they happen to come in. With one exception, I separate these types of black pieces. The hole in the middle is a square. So these are pieces you can use, let's get that focus, there we go, to catch onto your axles. I also recommend keeping these, your cords. Some of your cords come with these twist ties on it. I haven't removed this one yet. I recommend not throwing those away, but keeping them because they're useful if you have a lot of wires in your robot to move them out of the way. In the main part of the kit, I use Ziploc bags. Um, they come in their own plastic bags that are single use. You open them and then they don't reseal again. So I just replace them with Ziploc bags and I put everything, these were in a bag together. So all these things were already organized by VEX before they sent them. I just replaced the bags with Ziploc bags. And if you can see, I also stabbed a hole in the bag. That way it doesn't get full of air and take up more space. This isn't, you know, chicken. It's okay to, uh, to have air get in and out and it's better if the bag doesn't puff up on you. This is your robot. Um, it also has its radio signal right here. It receives instructions from your controller. And you can also store your programs on it and select them using these arrows and this check and X. And all of your motors and sensors get plugged into these. There is no um, analog digital divide like there are in some robot kits. Uh, it doesn't matter. They all go in just fine. Um, also, one cool thing about the motors that I didn't mention, these work as motors and servos. So they can spin all the way around and you can use them to drive or you could use them to set them at different positions and measure the different positions of the servo, um, which I think is kind of cool. So there's no distinction between a motor and a servo in this kit, as there are in a lot of other robotics kits. And the robotic battery I already plugged in. It comes with a charger and you plug it into the wall and that green light means it's already all charged. If it's not all charged, it'll have a red light. Let's see if I can, yeah, well, you saw it flash for a second, it does that. So that means it's uncharged and then it turns green when it's charged. Now you're gonna take your brain and you're gonna take all your parts, your motors, you got four motors. 
your distance sensor, um, your bump sensors, which you have two. Um, you got your infrared sensor, your color, basically a color sensor, and your two touch sensors. Oh, and your gyro. And you're gonna plug all of them into your brain. And then using this micro USB connection, you're going to plug your brain. Where's the opening? There, there's the opening for that. You're gonna plug your brain into your computer. Okay, so now you're gonna go to the website. It's vexrobotics.com. And the product you have is the Vex IQ. You're gonna go to resources. That's what you're gonna do. And you want the Vex OS firmware. You're gonna download it for whatever operating system you have. I'm running Windows, so I download it for Windows. Okay, so after installing the utility, you plug your brain in and turn it on, and your brain is connected to all these parts, and what it should do is it should locate all of these things. And so it's telling me, oh, I have this plugged into this port, this plugged into this port, just like you had it configured. Green means it's up to date, yellow means you need to install an update for it. Word to the wise, if this has trouble seeing your brain, just try restarting your computer with your brain plugged in and turned on. That seemed to help. Uh, so it's going through bit by bit and upgrading the firmware and all of the things that need the upgrade. And now that you've got your all of your firmware done, you're going to do one more thing. And this is optional. There's multiple ways you can control your brain, but I'm going to show you one, which is to go to the mod link, there we go. Go to mod link. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna mod link Vex into Google. Ah, mod kit for Vex, and you will need the mod link. So now that we're at this website, what you want to do is you can do the free one on the website or you can buy one you can install on your computer. I usually use the internet one for free. Um, and so I click on that. And right now it says, uh-oh, you don't have the mod kit link. You need some software on your computer in order to talk to this website, so you're gonna click on that. You need enter options, you're gonna save it. And then you're gonna run it after it finishes downloading. Okay, so now that you ran that file, you click on install. Ooh, permission stuff. Okay, so when you got it done, you click on finish and you get this little pop-up saying it's deleted all the extra files it put on. And what should happen is it should appear in your system tray. So you'll get a little M thing that appears in the lower left corner. This is my second monitor, so it's not on this one. And if you're running this on a Mac, it'll appear in the upper right corner. And you see a little M. And so now you should be able to run. There we go. That's uh, most of the setup. Organize your kits. Get the software you need. Um, we program it from that website, the modkit.com website. And we're gonna get to some of the builds we can do and how to program the brain and how to use the controller in later videos.